Hi, and welcome to Dr. Mix. Today I'm going to show you three ways a Pultec equalizer can save your mix. Coming up. This video is brought to you by Acoustic Audio. Yeah! Hey guys, welcome along to Dr. Mix channel. I have been using Pultex for a long time in different forms, in different capacities, and today I got the Acoustica audio version of it, and I'm gonna show you three techniques that will help you make your mix a lot better. Technique number one, the kick parallel treatment. So here's a session that I have recorded some time ago. It's um, a very good uh, drummer, his name is Darren Abraham, and I recorded him for a track that I'm doing with Omar. This is a session from the YouTube space from some time ago. Keep an eye on my personal website, claudio.pro, because I'm going to release that quite soon. So the drums sound pretty good by themselves. I haven't done much to them. So here's what I've got, right? No EQ, no compression, no nothing. But what we certainly need is a little bit of power for this kick drum. So let me show you how I do this technique, yeah? So I have paralleled the kick drum onto this channel, right? I can just solo it, and uh, as you can see, this is just pure parallel. So it's not affected by how loud this is because it's post fader. This is like a, I mean, I'm using Cubase because I like Cubase, but you can use any auxiliary channel for this. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to add a compressor. Let me use um, a Viridian and uh, Viridium Compressor. This is from Acoustica Audio and um, it sounds pretty awesome. Check this out. All right, so I am going to give it a nice ratio and start pulling down on the threshold. All right, so basically we are killing it, yeah? A bit of, a bit of attack. You really need, you know, like this kick to become like, like, like a flick, like a knock on the door or something. All right, all right, all right. Let's play with the release time. See what happens. See, I squashed it completely. I squashed the life out of it. This is exactly what we want. I mean, we could use the sidechain filter here and it gives back that low end because it filters the low end from the detection circuit. But in this case, we really want to squash the life out of it. And this is pretty good. So before, after, right? You see, that's exactly what we want to get. And the reason is, check this out. Now we select purple. All right, there are various kinds of purples. These are sampled after some very old uh, machines. I am going to select P1, which is the classic one. And that's how it looks, all right? So first we wanna turn it on, and that's how we do it. And then boost a lot. I think we need to boost around 60, right? Actually, you know, this is this is this is like the original unit. You can only select um, th this this four values here. So let's see what happens with the bandwidth. All right. Uh, we could also do that trick where we also attenuate. That's actually very interesting. So let's listen to the difference. All right, without this. Also, you've got this input trim, which basically uh, sets how hot you go into the unit. And in order to turn this on, we do this, right? And now, actually, 
right? And now the input trim is also compensate automatically. So the more I run this hot, the more the level gets ducked uh, at, at, at the end of um, the unit. This is quite subtle because this is ma for mastering use, really. But it, dry, it does drive the, ho the, the unit a bit hotter. Let's keep it like that. So before, no life. Ugh, a lot of life. And now what we're going to do is we're going to sneak this inside of the original kick drum. Check out. Oof. Now check with and without, yeah? Oh. Oh, make my day. Maybe you might want to check this on headphones. Definitely you don't want to listen to this on your laptop speakers. You need you need some headphones to to really appreciate this, yeah? So without it, Parallel power, baby. Next, technique number two, enhancing your master. So this is a remix of a track that I am about to release. It's called Thunder in the Jungle. And specifically, this is a house, Afro house remix from uh, Alex M, a great DJ and producer. Let's check this out. Oh, yeah. All right. So as you can see, this is an unmastered version and I am going to enhance it now. So let's just, uh, I'm gonna loop this section here. All right, let's select the purple. This time I'm gonna select H2, which is a simplified version of it. This actually comes from a different unit because at Acoustica Audio they have sampled, this is the term that they actually use, sampled a different uh, unit altogether. Still a Pultec, just slightly different one. So, because you know, Pultec sound a little bit different. So let's try and make this master sound fatter. All right. I don't need to say anything, right? Let's use the attenuation trick. And then we can boost the top end a little bit. Is that a little bit? <laughs> so before, after. Yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Let's pull this down a little bit. All right. And you know what I'm gonna do now? I am going to enhance the mids of it. To do that, I'm gonna use Purple M5, which is, you know, the mid range pull tech. And uh, let's turn it on and let's get some mids out of it. Let's check out this one.
Давайте. Try and remove some of the 300s. Put out. All right. I get a little bit of penetration here, yeah. All right. Present. Now let's check the difference with and without the whole thing. Before. And after. Pull the power, baby. Technique number three, making your instrument fatter. Let me demonstrate that, yeah? I am going to mute this guy and uh, I'm going to record some roads for you. All right? Alright, let's go back to our mixer. Let's loop this just in case. Bang, bang. So let's fatten up this bad boy. This time I want to use AA, which is modeled after a modern version of, of uh, the Pultec. I think this is a warm audio that they've used for this one, I can't be sure. And uh, let's boost. Mickey Mouse, giant mean roads. It's quite impressive, isn't it? Let's try to use the boost and the cut. Let's change the bandwidth. Increase the presence. Here you can even cut the top. But we don't need to do that. So before, you know what, let's play this one more time, I want to play with it, and 
you know, I beg you, please don't say in the comments that, hey, he's just louder. This is how these units work. There is no compensation on this unit, you see? It's not the, the point is not level matching, the, the point is enhancing, and uh, I hope you can hear past the volume change, because, you know, it's just so, so much more than just volume change. So, let's, let's go for it. decide to use it. See, it never sounds honky, it never sounds ugly, you know. A lot of equalizers, you just push on them and they start st sounding like that, but not the Pultec, certainly not the Acoustica audio version of it. Oh, so beautiful. Such a romantic theme for today's episode of Dr. Mix. Oh yeah. Stay inspired, make beautiful music. I hope you enjoyed this. If you haven't subscribed, sure you should do that now. Check out the Acoustica Audio Purple 2 in the link here in the description or maybe up here or maybe up there no definitely in the link in the description stay beautiful talk to mix